Hey guys, Charlene FX back with another YouTube video. I know it's been a while since I dropped a last video. It's been so, so long, but I've been very, very busy doing a lot, a lot of things. And I missed you guys. I missed you guys. I missed dropping educational stuff. Um, but on this video, this is going to be a good video. This is going to be a, a nice gem with for you guys to see um, what I've been up to these last uh, few weeks and uh, how you can learn, how you can learn from what I've been up to, okay? So if you're new to my channel, thank you for dropping by. Please, please, please subscribe. Hit the notification button if you like my other videos. If you like this one, I drop you know knowledge all the time on my videos. All of it to help as many people as I can become, you know, as best of trader as they can be. Also, with that said, if you're not a new person uh, or a new visitor to my channel, welcome back and hope I hope you've been doing good. All right, guys. So for those of you that follow me on Instagram as Charlene FX or you follow my mentor or one of my mentors, Mr. Quillen Black, a.k.a. Q Banks on Instagram, you will know that I've been I've been participating in what's called the Torch Challenge. If you don't know what that is, that's basically an account build challenge where you have to take an account from a certain number and build it up to a profit target goal. And you're going up against another competitor and whoever gets it to that profit goal first is the ultimate winner. So with that being said, um, I just want to give a shout out to my competitor. She did an excellent job. She's an awesome, awesome trader, Trade US 30. Um, and then there's Torch Duels, right? Where we're going against uh, two different guys. So it's kind of girl on girl versus the guys. So I was the winner in the girls. So now I'm waiting on the guys to finish so that we can see, you know, who I'm going to be going up against for that ultimate, ultimate prize. So I'm very, very excited about it. Um, anxious uh, to get it to get it going, but I'm also looking forward to the holidays as well. So hopefully we can get that going after Christmas and New Year's. But anyway, enough ranting. Let's get into this. This video is going to be all the trades that I caught and how I won each of the trades. The loss that I suffered, the one loss, I did take one loss on the account and how it could have been a winning trade. And I'm going to talk about a little bit of psychology behind being uh, a contestant on the Torch Challenge. And I do have a surprise for you guys. So stick around towards the end of the video and I will give you guys a little nugget to help you guys as well. All right. So really quickly, let's look at the account or my account balance, I should say. So the account started out with 10000 Okay, $10,000. I had the one loss and these are all the trades that I took over the course of eight days, eight or nine days. Okay. I believe I took nine trades over the course of eight or nine days. And, uh, the account balance now is sitting at three thirty-five thousand one hundred and thirty-six, 35,136. And I was able to profit $25,136 over the course of about a week and a half, which is excellent. Excellent. Uh, an excellent account build. If you ask me <laughs> also, um, Please disregard this US 30 trade. I don't trade US 30. This was an accidental trade. So um, disregard that one. We'll just be looking at the gold trade setups that I actually took. And these are the trades that um, that you, you guys are going to learn from and how I was able to catch each trade idea. OK, so let's jump right into it and look at the first trade. So the first trade is always that first, you know, jitters. Right. You got to get get that out there. So I was nervous about it, obviously. I was nervous on every trade. I'll be honest with you guys. I was nervous on every trade I took. However, I was still able to manage my emotions and still use discipline, proper risk management, and things like that with my trade. However, with this one, I did uh, unfortunately take a loss on the account. It was a $665 loss. And I entered the trade right around this area here. This was a New York session. And I think I got out because I got wicked out. The drawdown was too much. But had I stuck to my sell bias, it would have, you know, turned out to be a very, very good win. So learn, guys, when you're trading your uh, specific pair, I mean, we're in an over, uh, a clear downtrend here. I mean, a whole lot of liquidity down here. And then, you know, gold just dumped after that. That would have been a sniper entry <laughs> if I had held this trade for a win. And also that would have put me massively ahead in the competition, I believe, if I had held this trade. But unfortunately, I did not. And I ended up losing at a $665 loss on this trade. Now, let's move on to trade number two. And in case you guys are wondering why these uh, wins and setups are so small, again, it's because I'm a scalper and I this is my trading style. I take one to two setups every day and I scalp the, scalp the market. <coughs> Excuse me. So trade number two, next day, New York session, and it was an $820 win. It was a sell uh, trade. 
uh, obviously we're, we're in a downtrend. Okay. Price uh, for, found resistance, rejection, and I just took it, took it in on the sell, way down on the rejection and jumped in for the sell. And as you can see, guys, I'm giving away a lot of profits. I'm missing out on a lot of profits here because on all these trades, price is just continuing in my direction. Makes me happy because I won the trade, but it makes me even happier because I was right. I'm right about the, my directional bias and being right about that is the best thing ever. So you don't really need, you know, even if you don't catch the entire move, getting a win is, is you know, it's just as good. All right. Looking at trade number three, which is on the next day, New York session was a $10,060 win. Same deal. Uh, we were taking, looking for sales here, had stops literally above wicks and <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm battling a little cold. Um, I had stops above here and took some sells and just wrote it down. Again, same thing. Had I held it, would have been a nice reject, uh, nice catch here. But this candle went all the way back up and just knocked everybody out, I think, whoever entered down here. So if I held it and not closed around this area, for sure, I probably would have got my stop would have got hit. I would have got knocked out of this trade. So you just got to know when to take your profits and get out of the market. All right. So trade number four, which was on the next day. New York session again, um, same thing, wick rejections, we were making lower lows and lower highs, waited for a resistance to form and jumped in for the sales. Could have held a little longer, but didn't, secured profits and only made $585. Next one, um, this was um, a very good trade actually right here. Um, that took this pre-London, a like Asian pre-London-ish, right? Uh, price had pushed up and rejected. We had like a resistance forming here and a support. We had this rejection wick to the downside and we were already pushing bullish. So I put in my pending orders here. Price got activated and price ended up pushing up. And I had my take profit somewhere around here, right above this last high that was formed here. So once price continued pushing to make a new high, that's where I took profit. And as you can see, again, price just continued pushing, pushing, pushing. So, but still I was able to profit $4,540 on this trade, which is good. Pretty good for me. I think that's okay. <laughs> All right. So next day, let's look at trade number six. So at this point in time, we're up a good amount on the account, right? We're, we're prof we profited 4,500. We profited $580 there. We profited a thousand dollars there. Um, and then $800 there. So that second win pretty much ate up my first loss, which was great. So I was in the positive, but this trade really put me, put me um, ahead and, and, uh, on, on the account. Right. So then this next trade, which I took pre London had entries here for uh, buy opportunities. Now I initially had my TP up here. This was my initial TP on this trade. I expected price to come back up to retest this last level that it formed, but it did not do that. So thank God that I got out, you know, in time because after a while price just turned around and completely tanked after that. So it did not come up to where I thought it was. So it's a good thing that I woke up, uh, around London time and I was able to see that price was struggling to break and I just secured profits and not only that but I was up a good four grand again on this tree so that's that's not bad for one day one day's work so four grand I'll take it so 2240 and 2775 on the other on two orders on this trade okay and then that was trade number six and then trade number seven uh, New York session and that was two orders and they were each for $660 this one was a good trade that I got out of just in time because I was in sell entries here. And as you can see, I don't know why I was looking for sells here. This was weird. I must have been off my element or something here because price was clearly pushing bullish, making new highs here. And I think because this low broke this one, not much by much, but um, I don't know why I was looking for sells here, but price literally turned around and went up. So it was a good thing that I took profits and got out before otherwise this would have been um, a loss. And then <clears throat> this news push happened, price pushed up, whipped up really high and then completely melted, completely melted and then started ranging. So I was waiting on a pullback on this news push here. I caught the wick rejection here. I jumped in for entries here, had my stops above. And this one was a monster, monster trade. This was about a $12,000 win. And that one pretty much gave me the win on this trade because it was a really, really good, good, good entry, good trade, um, good analysis. Everything was really, really good. It played out really, really well. And, and yeah, as you can see, guys, the bigger trades like the 12K trade, it was two orders that each profited about 6K. 
let's look back at it really quick, quickly. So yeah, these two orders at five two five lots here, so it's about six thousand two hundred forty five dollars six sixty one fifty here. So these these two trades and these two trades and this one here really kind of catapulted me into um, a lot of profit to be able to have a nice little cushion to play with on the account in case I did take a loss. So um, those setups were really good um, that I was able to catch. Now, <clears throat> at that point, I had uh, just, a, I think I was down like 500 bucks <clears throat> excuse me, on the account to pass the challenge. And then I just took this little baby trade here. Market was pushing bearish. I just uh, entered that resistance and was waiting for the drop <laughs> for sales. And then I was able to jump in on uh, those trades. And that's it, guys. It was nine trades that was taken over the course of nine days. And I mean, I'm not going to say it was easy. I'm not going to say that I wasn't nervous. I wasn't feeling um, the pressure of taking the trades. However, um, it was a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's uh, the psychology behind trading in front of a, a lot of people. is tough. It's tough, guys, because you're, you're, you're under a lot of pressure. You're facing people that are judging what you're doing, your, the trades that you're taking, even where you're putting your stop losses, where your entries are, your style of trading, you know, you're you're constantly inundated with opinions of other people. And some mean well and some don't. It is what it is. But at the same time, you have to basically block all that noise out and just make it between you and the charts. You and the charts or you and yourself. You and yourself is really who you're competing against. Yeah, you might have an opponent, but your competition is really yourself and your ability to stay disciplined, your ability to stick with your rules. If you trade a certain pair, if you trade a certain session, if you trade a certain style, um, all that, all that matters. So deviating from that is usually when you find yourself taking losses and unnecessary losses. Every time I've taken a loss, and I do mean every time I've taken a loss on a trade, um, it's it when I broke my rules is is when I usually took a loss, right? I've never stuck to my rules and taken an unnecessary loss, if that makes sense, right? So when I stick to my rules and I take a loss, I'm not mad. I'm not mad because it is what it is. Losing is part of the, of the game, right? But when I break my rules and I take a loss, now I'm angry. Now I'm upset because I broke my rules. I'm not mad I lost a trade. I'm mad I broke my rules. And that's what caused me to lose a trade, not the fact that I stuck to my rules and I lost a trade. OK, so with this with this tourist challenge, guys, I had to really, 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 really practice my discipline and understand that I had a lot of eyes watching me. I had, you know, the, the, the GOAT watching me, Cubanks and a, a bunch of others, uh, you know, that that are just as good as he is. And I did not want to lose. I did not want to let myself down. And the people that were supporting me, you know, all the messages that I got, all the support that I got, all the, the, the love that I was receiving from complete and total strangers sometimes, you know, these were people that were rooting for me that didn't have to, you know. So not only you have the pressure of trading in front of a lot of people, you have the pressure of not letting the people that 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 have your back down. You know what I mean? So the psychology, and I'm going to keep this short, guys, the psychology behind the torch is simply mastering your discipline you can master your discipline you can master your your rules you can master not letting somebody make you do something that you wouldn't normally do or make you second guess yourself your analysis or your skill level or anything like that just sticking to your guns understanding that the only way to succeed at trading and forget about the torch forget about a challenge account build forget about all that Think of the fact that you're trying to level up as a trader. You're trying to become more experienced, more educated, right? You're trying to become a little more savvy in the market, really understanding when to get in, when to get out, when to hold and when to close. These are all skills that you have to develop over time. And all these things take a, a sufficient level of education, a sufficient level of experience in the market and a decent, decent level of just flat out confidence in yourself, just having the confidence and knowing that you've studied, you've put in the chart time, you've back tested, you've paper traded, you've taken losses, you've you've journaled your trades, you've you know done everything you're supposed to do or everything you need to do for you to every day to get better and better and better at your craft, at what you're doing, so that you know you don't 
suffer so many losses or so much, um, you know, disappointment to where you end up quitting and you end up, you know, missing out on this excellent opportunity to, you know, be great at something like this. All right, guys. So that's my talk on psychology. That's my talk on the torch. I don't know. The guys are still duking it out. So may the best man win. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, once I have, I know who my competitor is and I start the next uh, round, which will be round three of the torch challenge. I will do another video like this. I'll show you. I mean, most of you have already seen the account, so you know what, how I did. But I'll do another one where I'll break down the moves that I caught and things like that and show you guys win or lose. Win or lose, I will you know, do another video like this. So now, <laughs> let's talk about the little surprise that I said I had at the end of this video. I'm going to drop some good gems here, okay? I got a million different DMs asking me, Charlene, <clears throat> how'd you get on the torch? How do you get on the torch? How do you get Q's attention? What's the best way to get, you know, to get noticed? And how can you, how did you do it? How did you get on the torch? Okay. <laughs> so first of all, guys, Q is a guy that likes to see results, right? He doesn't care about excuses. He doesn't care, you know, what your lifestyle is. He doesn't care, you know, how popular you are in your circle or whatever it is you're doing. He wants to see results. So consistency with training is what's going to make you, successful at trading, right? So if you want something bad enough and you're trying to, let's say, try to uh, apply to be on the torch, you got to be consistent. You can't send one or two DMs or a couple of DMs here and there and say, well, I sent a couple. He didn't get back to me. He didn't see it, this and that, or whatever. Understand that this guy gets, I don't even know how many probably DMs and tags and, and messages and all kinds of, of, you know, messages from people left, right, up and down. So he's only one person. He's only human. So you got to give him time to get through everything. Also, um, if you're a student of his, you kind of have a, a leg up, right? Because now you're part of his Wall Street Academy student base. You're probably or you should be a part of his uh, Facebook student chat. So if you're in there, you have connections to him. Um, other students and he's in there every day. He sees what goes on, what goes on in there. So if you're a Wall Street Academy student and you want to be uh, you want to participate on the torch challenge, just post your things in the group and tag him in it or see you know what happens in there and be consistent about it. Show it every single day. Um, DM him every day if you're not, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of have to go outside the box and you have to do what other people are not willing to do to show that you deserve to be on the torch because He's not going to just give the choice to just anybody just because you had, you know, one good entry or one good day or one big this or what. It doesn't he doesn't care. He wants to see consistent results and wants to see that you're somebody that's worthy of performing on the torch challenge. Another thing, guys, is don't ask to be on the torch if you're not ready. If you're not ready, understand the pressures of trading in front of a lot of people and having to explain yourself, having to be judged. These are all things that are real. So don't put yourself out there and then mess around and get picked and then shit the bed. Don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be ready for it. Be ready. Understand that, you know, are you profitable? Are you profitable first and foremost? You know, do you have a, a strict trading plan down? Do you have an actual style that you stick to? Um, you know, have you have you mastered your own psychology? You know, psychology is a big part of trading. Have you mastered that yet? You know, I don't know if we ever really master psychology, but you get to the point where, you know, you're you're the 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 anxiety of taking a trade, you know, not being sure of yourself with setups, you know, the the your psychology oftentimes comes from your ability to have confidence in your knowledge and also your ability to manage money. To manage money, because at the end of the day, your knowledge is separate from the money. It is. Your knowledge is what's going to make you money in the market. But if you mismanage money, it doesn't matter how good a trader you are, you're, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You can be a, a, a badass trader and catch you know, a, a good trade and the trade go your way. But because you over leveraged on the trade, you didn't manage your money properly. You got scared or you blew your account and you got out and the trade eventually went your way. That happens to everybody and it happens all the time. So... And by the way, that doesn't make you a good trader if you're constantly taking L's because you're not managing your money properly. So until you're able to master those those things, then that really defines you as someone who's 
um, you know, capable of handling something such as the torch. So how do you get on the torch, guys? You be consistent with sending Q your results. You actually have results to show and you're doing numbers and you're, you master your psychology and you're, you think outside the box. Do things that you wouldn't normally do to try to get this man's attention because that's the only way that you're going to stand out from all the other people that are applying, that are sending things, that are trying to, to get this opportunity. And, and don't get me wrong, guys, make no mistake. It's an excellent opportunity. It's going to put you in front of a lot of people. It's if you're looking for some sort of validation or credibility, which you shouldn't be, but if you are, it's a good opportunity for you to, you know, put yourself in front of a lot of people and show that you do have what it takes to, you know, to, 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 to perform under pressure. That's what it really is at the end of the day. So guys, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I don't want to keep it too, too long. Please check out my other videos if you haven't, if you're new here. I drop gems all the, all the time. Uh, the next tourist challenge hopefully it begins next year because I don't really trade much around the holidays. So we'll see how that goes. And for those of you that are asking what did I win or what was what is the prize, it's going to be a really nice trophy <laughs> that I'm going to receive from Q. And also, I'm going to be receiving a free um, $200,000 uh, torch, uh, torch $200,000 top tier trader account free of charge that I'm going to be able to trade and um, hopefully pass and get funded with uh, top tier. So that's, I mean, that's pretty, really, really great. It's, 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 it's an excellent, excellent prize. Um, and I'm really, really happy that, that I was able to, to win it. Who doesn't like a free challenge? You know what I'm saying? Everyone's doing challenge accounts nowadays. So who doesn't like a free challenge account? So I'm really grateful for that, for that prize, for that opportunity. I'm really happy that I was able to win. I really hope that those of you that did watch the Torch Challenge were able to learn a lot from my trading style and to see that even as a scalper, you can be just as profitable. You can make money. You don't have to be on the charts for hours and days and weeks, and, and you don't have to catch really big moves to to be, you know, to make a, a difference with your trading. All right, guys, so I appreciate you guys for watching again. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button, uh, subscribe again, share the video, get it out there, and comment. Comment down below. Let me know what videos you want to see. Let me know what you thought about the Torch Challenge. Let me know um, your thoughts, your feelings, anything like that. I'm, I'm open to all kinds of things. I do, I do love to interact. I do respond to all the comments. So go ahead, drop the comment. Don't be scared. Reach out to me on Instagram at CharleneFX on IG. CharleneFX, S-H-A-R-L-I-N-E-F-X. That's it. There's a lot of fakes out there, guys. It's not me. I'll never ask you for money. I'll never reach out to you first unless I know you personally. Okay, guys? So thank you again for reaching out. I love all of you guys, and you guys have a great trading week and a great holiday. Peace out.